Hello, everyone, and welcome back again to my humble abode. <laughs> anyway, um, I have had a few little quests to uh, do unboxings, new games updates, uh, what well, new games or that, you know, new stuff I get. Um, kind of a separate thing from the updates. The actual updates where, you know, I'll blab on about random crap. <laughs> Um, personally, I don't particularly really see that big of a problem since I usually do them at the very beginning and then go blab, but, um, if, uh, people would like me to do that, I, I can do that. So, uh, you can leave your two cents about that in the comments if you, uh, whether or if I just made them a separate video. Um, if I do that, I'm going to probably do kind of like what I did with, uh, my newest DS imports with the book and that. Well, uh, it's still an update video, but it was solely on that. Um, the reason I did that with that one is because I wanted to blab a lot about that one. <laughs> but, uh, if you would like me to do that, you know, feel free to say yeah. If you don't like that idea, then feel free to say nah, but either way, uh, I'll do this particular video that way and see, uh, how people like that or don't like that. But anyway, this this one update will solely be about new games I got on my trip to Utah. Got lots of stuff here. <laughs> lots of stuff. So let's start off with something from Quintet. Now, if you never heard of Quintet, they've made quite a number of interesting games. But here's something that probably a lot of people don't know. Legacy of the Wizard for the NES. This was developed by Quintet and some other company, um, trying them, I think, I think it was a sub-company that also made Y, Y's, E's, yeah, E's, you know, the, the one that's a Y and S, I, I think, not 100% on that, but I do know Quintet had to do with this game, so, uh, this cartridge looks awesome, cleaned, and everything looks nice. It's an interesting open world RPG. I've never played it, so I look forward to trying that in the future. Nice addition to my collection. Now, uh, <laughs> that's probably the most well known thing here. Uh, the West is going to be a bit of blah. Now, uh, there was an interesting chain of stores called uh, Grey Whale up there in uh, Utah. And, uh, they are uh, pretty interesting. They mostly focus on music, but they have games and that. And, um, they kind of do different things, like one had a uh, dump bin for a bunch of games they're trying to get rid of cheap, while another one had a whole bunch of handheld stuff they would, like, buy five, get for ten dollars. <laughs> well, no, two nine nine, so at two nine nine four times, and you can see you basically actually save money getting a fifth game to get it for ten. But anyway, uh, so let's start off with the... Uh, ones I got out of a dump bin. Uh, they basically had a bunch of games, one dollar each. So I got four titles that had very really nice looking discs and that. So <laughs> it was probably something a lot of people make fun of. Um, I do not really play this series very much. I played a little of it, uh, mainly because I only have one version of it. But maybe I'll play a little more of it now that I have some uh, more variety in songs. But I got Dance Dance Revolution Ultimate Remix, uh, Ultimate, yeah, Dance Dance Revolution Ultimate 1 and 2 on the Xbox, and I don't know if there's a really big variety of bell songs on those ones, I only had one on the PS2, but, uh, I have a dance pad that connects to all three, uh, of that generation's consoles, PS2, the PS2, Xbox, and GameCube, so... Uh, the only real, uh, old Guitar Hero game I never got was Encore, Walk of the 80s. I was like, and the discs in them look excellent, so. And, uh, here's a slightly, uh, interesting-ish game. I, I, I did get to test, uh, most of these, uh, with, uh, my friend's Matt's consoles of that. He has a PS3 that plays PS2, so I was able to test all these, make sure they work. It's called Future Tactics Uprising. 
Now, a friend of mine, well, actually, Alan, said this game was terrible. He actually had it and, uh, well, got rid of it. I never got to try it. Uh, it was only a dollar, so I was like, eh, why not? If anything, I get an extra case. <laughs> Uh, I tried a little bit, it's a little interesting, but I could see it getting really unbalanced really fast from what I can see. So, you know, in time, we'll, we'll kind of see maybe about that as something. And we still got more and more and more, lots more. Now, as I mentioned, there was that handheld. These would be what I got out of that. Five games for $10. Were they really worth it? I don't really know. I got them just for the hell of it. <laughs> so, first thing, I'll save the probably the best thing for last. <laughs> um, I do have actual dual master cards. I do have some when it first came out. Eh, it's a little harder. Yeah, it's focus is there, but. Uh, See, my camera doesn't have autofocus. I'd have to readjust it for close-up, so... You're not going to really see... Very, it is just this dual master. This is... Kijou Showdown in Simpa Legends. Um... I don't know if they're any good, to be honest, but, uh... Well, I was like, yeah, The cheap. That's probably the best way to get them. As, as, versus probably, like, five bucks or something off Amazon, you know basically two dollars each if you do the five deal now uh... i do like Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, most of the Yu-Gi-Oh! games so uh... about the only one i didn't really like that uh... was on the ps1 the uh... forbidden memories good lord i hated that one so freaking hard <laughs> the end, trying to beat that is so freaking hard anyway uh... So there's Yu-Gi-Oh! Destiny Board Trader, uh, Travel, Board Travel, and I was like, what the freaking hell, it's a trippy looking cover on that, and, um, I've never heard of that one, so, uh, I don't even know if that's even good or not, um, Spirit Detective, Yu Yu Hagusho Spirit Detective, um, I don't know, I think this was, a uh, a Yu, Yu Yu Hagusho type game that was based off the horrible Dragon Ball Z game engine Atari made uh, for the Game Boy Advance. Um, I hope that was got a little bell later on, but the, that first one, oh, uh, what was it, Goku's Legacy? I hated that game. Oh my goodness. And probably the best out of the bunch. Dicey Warriors Advance. Uh, that's probably the best out of them, to be honest. But who knows? Uh, I've never personally played any of them, so, you know, that could change. I wouldn't say too bad for $10. Now, uh, the last few games here I got, by normal means, uh, I have the Game Boy Advance sequel to this, and uh, I did look up why this cartridge is like this. It is, uh, Wopopon. Uh, Wopopon Basham Collectum uh, Thrashem. Sun version. Uh, America did not get the alternate version of this game. Uh, Atlas bought us this game. And, um, as you can see, it has this, it's bigger than a normal cartridge. It has this bigger section here. It, it has a little, uh, lid thing here with a screw right there. It's probably a little fucking get a little s right there. Yeah, see, so you, you can screw this off and that. And I looked up with it. It has a little, uh, you probably really hard to see there if I can, maybe they'll reflect a little. Yeah. It has a little thing here that's like on a remote. Basically, for my weed, there were some chests and things that were unlock if you actually take like remotes and shit, electronic stuff with signals, and actually point it at it, and it will actually randomly unlock different chests and things. It's kind of a weird concept. Um, I don't. <laughs> that's very strange, but uh, uh, creative nevertheless. But anyway, uh, I'm assuming this upper part is for a battery for that function, so uh, I'll have to check more. Into that. Ooh. Pardon me. Now here's something I just got purely because of what the case looked like. 
well, the cover one, I never seen it, it's called Gadget Twins, uh, by a company called Game Tech, which, uh, I don't really recollect, uh, ever hearing about, so, uh, the game, it looked, looks like a kind of nice design, so, to be honest, I actually have no idea what kind of game it is, so, uh, I'll have to look that up, but it was only like three dollars, so I was like, eh, what's the worst that could possibly happen? And then probably uh, something that will start a whole trend of insanity is Shadowgate 64, Trails of the Four Towers for the N64, obviously, which was the last official Shadowgate game, if I recollect. Uh, I've been wanting to get several of the games of this series, and uh, I was like, oh, well, that's actually cheaper than the online price, not even counting the shipping. So, uh, I went and got it. So, uh, I don't, I haven't actually got to test it, so I sadly don't know if it works yet. But I, uh, it looks very clean and everything. The only thing that kind of sucks is that the upper part of the label is whipped a bit, but. Uh, it looks very clean inside and that, so, uh, I took the whisk on that, um, and that's pretty much all the new stuff I got. Um, I don't really have any plans to do any Let's Plays of any of it quite. Uh, probably the more, more likely candidate would probably be Legacy of the Wizard as a Let's Play, uh, with uh, Shadowgate, actually. Yeah, I, I'd be interested in doing a Let's Play of that probably, too. But uh, the West uh, be iffy. Uh. But, um, you know, if, if you would like to see a Let's Play of any of that, or have any questions or anything about any of them, feel free to leave a comment on that. And I'll see you next time. I think.